Hi guys, welcome to the Mythic Booster channel and welcome to another Pokemon Go update. There's a few exciting things that have come up just recently. I wanted to put them all together in one video so you knew exactly what was going on. So keep watching to find out what they're all about. Right then guys, I hope you're still enjoying that new intro. I'm loving it. It's, it, it, it I, I could say it was growing on me, but I, I love it. I spent loads of time on it, so I hope you guys are joining it as well. I've got lots of good feedback from the last video, so that's really cool. But what you guys want to know about is what is going on with all the updates and events that are coming in Pokemon Go. So, first things first, I've got myself a few bits of listage going on on my PC, so I don't forget a single thing to tell you guys. First things first... There has been a bit of a spoiler alluding to the Easter event and when it will start. Now, currently, this is potentially going to happen tomorrow. So that's the 13th uh, or UK time. Um, obviously, it will juggle around depending on it. usually works for American time. So um, whatever that is, uh, UFC. No, that's fighting. I don't know. Whatever the American one is. Anyway, but tomorrow on the 13th, the Easter event. Now this is quite quite a good leak now because this is the same guys that have sort of predicted a few things now. And if I scroll down, it's by the guys known as Team Evolution, which two Eves on uh, Facebook. The Silk Road did a bit of a, a sort of a whatchamacallit, a workout of what was going on. Now basically what they're saying is we're going to have a double XP event, which is super exciting. I know loads of people have been waiting this for ages. Um, especially if you're getting up the levels like myself, like level 34, trying to get to level 35, 1.25 million is tons of XP. So double XP event would be absolutely amazing. And obviously being Easter, we can not have something like an egg event. So it's looking like we're going to get extra chances to hatch rare Pokemon from eggs like Snorlax and Lapras. So that'll be super cool. I still haven't got the exact Snorlax I want, um, and that'd be really cool to get. So fingers crossed we get a bit of that going on. So that is very cool for our East event, maybe starting tomorrow. So that is on there. You can go and have a look. If you go to the Silk Road's Reddit feed, there's a discussion on there. Have a look at that. Also, spoofers may be gone from the game, which would be... oh. God, it'd be totally amazing. So basically, uh, Ninesick put a statement out um, that they were really cracking down on this um, using sort of stuff they'd learned from Ingress. And they've now also launched a help page on Twitter, which is at Niantic Help. So if you have any problems, anything like that, don't, you know, don't, you know, worry. Go and tweet them up. You might hopefully get a response. People seem to be getting feedback from them, which is really cool. Um, they've also said, uh, thanks for submitting Pokestop suggestions. We're not accepting requests now, but we are working on a way to ensure submissions in the future. How cool is that? So for rural players like me, um, a way to get Pokestops closer and more in rural situations will be totally cool. That is great, and that is coming directly from Niantic's at Niantic Help Twitter feed. Um, that's really sweet. Um, what else have we got going on? Um, you can visit our help centres as well, so support.ingress or support.pokemongo Niantic Labs, blah, blah. Also, the next major update that is potentially coming as well is a big game update, is the gym raid system. We're not quite sure how this is going to work yet, but we have got some, um, some information that's been sort of pulled out of the APK where your trainer will say, I'm just reading a bit of this, a raid is starting nearby. So, for example, if your trainer pops up, it'll change depending on what team you're in, but it'll let you know that there is a raid going down on a gym in a nearby location. So you can essentially run and support your team or get involved with taking down that gym. So that would be really cool. Um, also, there is talk about your Pokemon getting hungry and you might need to feed it a berry. Now, I don't know if that means there's going to be a new berry um, introduced or the current berries will have different sort of like buff capabilities. But it looks like that maybe a Pokemon that's right at the top of the gym 
if it's fighting a lot and it hasn't been given food, if it says it's hungry, um, it might make it weaker and easier to take out, or it might even drop it down the rankings, which would be really cool. Because if you've got a really committed player with like a 2,000 CP Pokemon, and that person's putting the effort to feed them berries all the time, that Pokemon's going to sit really high on the gym. And hopefully as well, maybe other teammates can get involved with giving Pokemon berries that are in the gyms. And then that way you don't have to visit all the gyms all the time you've been to. Um, but then again, at the same point in time, that would actually make you sort of, you know, just be a little bit more precarious about how you manage your gyms. So basically there is tons, and I do mean tons and tons of stuff going on. Just doing one last check to make sure I don't forget anything. So yeah, as far as all the news in Pokemon Go goes on at the moment, there is tons of stuff to go. Easter event, double XP, rare Pokemon. Ninetic launching their help, spoofers being cracked down on, and a gym raid update system. We have got so much to look forward to. This game is getting better all the time. Ninetic, I think, are slowly coming round. They're talking to the community, and oh my god, it's going to be amazing. So, if you want to know any of the updates, I will try and get them to you as quick as I possibly can. Um, my internet at home is terrible, but however, I will try and put it all in one video so you guys can see it. Um, if this has been really helpful, remember to give it a like. Also, if you subscribe, use the little bell because that way you'll never miss any of these episodes. Obviously, we do all of our other bits on the channel as well. We do our tech reviews and our Let's Play, so don't miss a single thing. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Until then, we'll see you next time on the Mythic Boost channel. Cheers, guys.